up late. I'm actually, I woke up when I start, should have started getting ready. My hair is disgusting. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to be out of this house in 45 minutes. What to do? I don't know. We'll see. But um, I made my coffee. And I just did like a splash of my organic milk in here. And here's like the loan application if you're interested. It is quite lengthy. It's like 37 pages or something. So I got to sign that and get that stuff done today. But I opened the fridge and this was in there and it's so sweet. It says, Bon Appetit. You don't have to eat frittata, but I wanted to make sure you had enough to eat. Wasn't sure if uh, you wanted mango. It tasted weird, but feel free to add it. I love you, babe, forever and always. P.S. Bring a yogurt. <laughs> I love you, my little future homeowner. I love you, babe. And then like a kissy face. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Oh, lips. <laughs> Uh, let's see why I have it. Okay. Mmm. That actually looks really good. So we got strawberries. And those strawberries are like some of the sweetest I've had. Um, but the frittata. And first, I just figured he made it for himself for breakfast. I come in here, I'm like, leave it to Garrett to not use any non-oil like oil or anything. Because the last frittata I had that I showed y'all, it puffed up like a um, souffle. And it didn't stick. I don't know how I did it. Actually, I do know. I smothered it with oil, but, um, I don't know what else he did. Let's see if he had any juice. No, he did not drink any freaking juice. So, I'm going to have the juice, um, on the way to work, but, just the, no, that's the rice. Uh, frittata down here. But, yeah. So, um. We need to get the appraisal done for the house, and part of that is getting the loan done and everything, but it's just craziness. So many papers to sign. And what I don't like is that Garrett's the buyer. Or a borrower? I'm the co-borrower. What the fuck is that all about? <sighs> Shit, being woman. It's hot. Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna leave the note on it because it's so cute. I'm just that it's, it was sitting right there open. I was like, what the hell? Anywho, I'm watching Glam Life Guru. You probably can not see that. But yeah. I had a, um, I'm gonna be like so late for work, but I just had to tell you something. Um, I feel like I just invented the wheel. I don't know. Like, I have had so much trouble with it, like, um, sharpening eyeliner, especially good eyeliner because because if it's like really creamy product and the hard wood on the outside, when you try to like wind it down, the product keeps kept getting stuck in the thing, which you can see that happened to me and I kept cleaning it out like five times until I got the genius idea. I was like, huh, my frittata didn't stick because I put a lot of olive oil on it. So if it works for cooking with food, it has to work for this. So I poured like a splash of olive oil on the pencil sharpener and then I sharpened my pencil and look at that. It actually sharpened it. I didn't do it all the way to a point, but it stayed on there. The product stayed on there and I just used like a little tissue to wipe the oil off the outside. But oh my God, I literally feel like I just, I mean, if you do that, then bravo to you. And I hate you for not telling me about it, even though I never told you I had an issue with it. But this is something I've struggled with since the dawn of time and I'm just so excited anyways I'm gonna finish getting ready but I'm just I had to share my excitement with you because that's crazy I mean look at that it is sharpened <gasps> yeah, I'm so, oh and this is the Milani a brown eye highlighter I always do the step first in my water line okay I'm gone <laughs> hey guys so <clears throat> I filmed today's outfit for the outfit of the week video I'm probably gonna see if I have enough outfits to put up a video for tomorrow and yeah I got my juice it's actually pretty good, but since um, I didn't clean out the back, a lot of pieces got in here. Which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. But, um, I just gotta make sure before I go into work that I smell and make sure I have no green stuff in my teeth. Anyways, um, I used a different eyeliner today. It's the Maybelline. Uh, I'll show you when I get back, but I never applied it with a brush. I always did it, like, just, like, putting it on and uh yeah it was just aggravating so 
I'm doing that to see if I can make my other liners last and see how this does because I'm almost out of my L'Oreal. Um, what are you called, L'Oreal? I like spit this name all the time. L'Oreal um, Liner Intense. Uh, yeah, so that is done, but I kind of liked it because I smudged it on the bottom too. And it just, uh, I don't know, I like the way it's kind of smoky. It's like, wait a minute, there's something there, mysterious. I'm not sure what it is. But anywho, I got my juice and I also did something really weird. You ready for it? Okay, I got, brought a cup of milk because I knew the juice probably wouldn't be enough yet. I just wanted to make sure. And so I have a cup of milk and then I have one of these babies of the Frosted Flakes. And so I'm going to eat that when I get to work. I'm so funny. Like, that's so weird. But I wanted to shout out to some of you. I got a few messages this morning from you guys. Uh, I mentioned in one of the videos, Gara's like, who's watching you? I said, I have 20 people that are actively viewing or whatever. And a few of you were like, I'm one of the 20. And that was just so sweet. Because um, I only hear from some people. I'm the same way. Like, with the YouTubers that I watch, I never comment on them. Um, because I feel like they're never going to comment back and yeah so it was really cool to hear from some of you because I've never um, had comments from you before so uh, also I got comments from people that you know always comment and that I've gotten really close with so I'm really uh, love that support I'm part of your 20 <laughs> it's just so sweet I might do actually I know I'm going to create a Google uh, what's it called a Google page or a Google circle that's what they call it Google plus circle of we call it my 20 and add all of uh, the people that well which I don't know it doesn't say who's watching the videos it just says that I have 20 views on each blog so um, if you guys want to comment below this one or below that video and just let me know that you're one of my 20 that is very uh, supportive and is always there even though I'm not uploading every single day and like on a certain time like I should um, but you do watch all my vlogs and I really do appreciate that and I love you guys so much because I share so many so much on here that I don't even share with my family or um, people that I spend day to day in my life I mean a lot of stuff I tell you guys on here I don't even tell Garrett so um, that's a secret for him if he wants to know what a woman's thinking what I'm thinking watch the vlog but I uh, just want to let you guys know how much I love you and uh, how much I really do appreciate you guys for being here. Because I feel like I do have a family on here and create some amazing relationships with you guys. But um, I'm going to quit with the sappiness. I'm going to try to get down my juice and all the little nasty bits. I should have strained it first. But I'll talk to you after I get out work. Or I'll show you my cereal concoction. Okay, so I just uh, picked up a Venti, not a Trenta. Swing by guys to you from Starbucks. I've been cheating on Starbucks for the longest with CC's, which is a local company. I mean, not like Baton Rouge, but it's um, a local franchise or corporation. I don't know. But Garrett actually trains one of the clients. One of his clients is the owner of CC's. So I've been trying to show my support and whatnot, but I haven't had Starbucks in so long. So, and you get, you have the option to get more product from Starbucks, and it keeps a lot longer. Um, Starbucks, it keeps maybe, I guess, uh, at least four or five hours, maybe six, but, um, uh, CC's Coffee, which is Community Coffee House, uh, keeps maybe for an hour like they don't put much ice in it the ice chips are really really tiny not like crushed or anything but just really tiny and what I can't turn here watch me no oh, shit I gotta turn around but um anywho so I wanted to get something that lasts long because I can make this drink last my entire work day instead of having the sea seasons where I'm forced to get something else for lunch. So, that is my reasoning behind it, guys. So, now that I've pled my case to you, um, turning around in this 
parking lot. The corner 11, as soon as in the parking lot. How do you like this wheel action, like in front of you? Does that drive you crazy? In front of your face! Anyways, uh, yeah. Okay, that uh, Frosted Flakes definitely gave me an energy boost, which I know I'm going to crash later. That's okay. That is okay. Well, I'm back at work again. Waiting to see my friend. Alright, I'm safely back here. Parked. So I'm just going to sit here until my boss decides to get here. she be 15 minutes late or an hour. I don't know, but I got YouTube. And if I get bored, I can talk to you guys. Because you're always there for me. You guys, tell me the truth. And be honest with me. Like, there have been a few people that have asked me that think that I'm older than I am. I'm about to be 24 in August. But lately, everybody and their mother has been asking me if I'm still in school. And I've explained. No, it's like, oh, did you finish? What did you graduate? And it's like, I didn't. I had like a semester left of being a full four years, but I had another year left for getting a degree. And so I have to go in that little spiel. If you didn't know that about me, that's the truth and how it is in the world. Um, you know, scholarships aren't able to find me. Um, I lost a few scholarships. They're only like a certain amount of time and whatnot, but everybody's been like you're 24 and like do I dress like a toddler I don't think I do I think I dress my age maybe the braid throws people off I don't know does that look too juvenile I don't understand I mean I'm not gonna change how I dress myself because I don't mind um, I don't care if other people think I look like a little baby but I've never gotten that before I've always gotten that people thought I was older which is not the nicest thing to tell someone it's like really you're only 23 you look like you're about 40 and it's like Well, you look a hundred, so the joke's on you. <laughs> but anyways, um, I just got off work, and I ran into Whole Foods, and I, let's see, I bought lots of things. Um, I bought brioche bread because I watched it on the Chew recently, which is on Hulu, by the way, which I love. That was one thing I did. I always watched, um, whenever I wasn't working, like, all beginning of last year when I was trying, uh, when I was just taking a break, um. I watch nothing. First, I would wake up to GMA, Good Morning America. And this is all on Channel 5 or Fox News, whatever you have. ABC, Fox, whatever. Um, and then, what would come on next? I think the, no, Kelly and Michael, which I really didn't care for that show at all. Um, then The View would come on, which I didn't really care for that either. But then The Chew came on, which I was a big fan. It has Michael Simon. It has, um... Carla Hall, Daphne Osborne, um, Mario Batali, and Clinton, forgot his last name, but, uh, he was on the fashion something on TLC, I don't know, but he's, like, really big in fashion, also he's an amazing host, and he is the, like, king of, like, cocktail drinks, which, uh, I love, uh, seeing him make drinks, which we haven't had a fully stocked bar in a while. So now that we have a semi-stocked bar, I might try out some of his things. But anyways, I started watching it on Hulu, um, just having it playing in the background. And they had a kids thing for like Mother's Day. I'm like back there when Mother's Day was. And they made this amazing French toast, but it had Nutella in the middle, which we don't have Nutella. And um, someone just tried to kill me. Anyways, and he had Nutella stuff, French toast, and it looked so good. So I bought the br French brio since we hadn't had bread in the house in a while. And I have mayonnaise so we can make little sandwiches. I bought chicken since Garrett bought the bad chicken. I went ahead and bought the prepackaged one just to see if it makes a difference. Um, so I'm going to cook that up. He gets off in an hour, so I'm hopefully going to have uh, early dinner ready for him when he gets there. So, anywho... What else did I get, guys? I got my my dad doesn't watch my vlog, so we're good. He I got him um, a really nice bottle of 
wine. He is obsessed with Pinot Noir, which is um, like a lighter red wine. Merlot is a little bit heavier, and it's a little bit heavier than Cabernet Sauvignon, but lighter than Merlot, so it's in the middle. And, well, it's probably on the same level as Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon, how many times can I say that in a sentence? But it always, no matter how nice the brand is, it turns my entire mouth and my teeth purple. It's crazy. And, like, cheaper wines do that to me. But every single, um, like, Acacia, which is a really nice wine that's one of my dad's favorites, um, does that to me. Kendall Jackson does it to me. And those are, like, pretty nice wines. I mean, they're not, like, $100 bottle wines, but they're, like, fifteen dollars um so yeah but Zinfandel is probably the most stout of the wine red wines uh, my braid's falling apart which is so funny people always say like um when they see my braid they're like oh my god I wish I could do that I'm like you can I can't tell you how many hours and how many times I had to do my hair like this to get it right I just am now starting where I can do it all the way up here without having to tie it or like um use a bobby pin in some way and I would try to tell them like you know just try it with your hair wet um it's usually easier it's not gonna look the best if you get frizzy hair easy it's gonna for anyways to go through the whole steps of it and they're like no it's like well I mean if you want your hair to look like this which I think it looks wretched right now um, you just gotta practice, and that's what I did. I just practiced, 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 practiced. God, I remember the days where I could just sit there and play with my hair, and because I was bored. Those days don't come anymore. I'm not usually bored anymore. Uh, if I'm bored, I'll be like editing a YouTube video or making one. Anyhow. But I got a lot of, I got Garrett some beer, some nice beer. It's like $10. I got me one beer, um, fat tire. I would show you, but it's kind of awkward. Like, here's my beer while I'm driving. But then I got some sweet potato chips. Yeah, got lots of stuff. Anyways, I'll see you at home. Alright guys, so the beer I got Garrett, me and Chloe are going to show you is this Big Eddie's Russian Imperial Stout. So he likes really thick beer, especially beers that, um, um, darker beers, and I think this one is, I can't tell. It doesn't look as thick as I thought it was at the store, but so the pa it only comes in four. You can tell those are really expensive when they do that. Then I got some, uh, just tortilla chips. I like the really thin ones, and we usually get El Maguey's from the uh, farmer's market, but they had El... Milagro. I don't know what that means, but they had that. Then, since we're, because we are going to be driving um, three and a half hours, we want to get some foods that we could keep in the car. So, I got the Terra um, sweet potato with sea salt chips. So that would be a really good snack to have. Then, um, I was telling you on the car, or maybe I cut it out because I was telling you everything that we got, and I was like, there's no point because I'm going to show you when I get home, but I want to make French toast with this and maybe some sandwiches with the chicken, but it's French brioche. And then I got me a fat tire. Then I got my dad's birthday is tomorrow, so I got him a Pinot Noir. I'm pretty sure he's never tried this one, but it was the number one pick for Whole Foods. What I like about them is that they have like... Um, the people that work there, they'll ask them what their favorite wine or beer is. And one of the guys' favorite, the only favorite uh, Pinot Noir that was there was this one. So I grabbed it. You see, Chloe? You want to be in the shot? You want to be in the shot? Okay. Did you approve for Papa to have that wine, huh? Yeah. And then over here, I got these little Annie's, um, you know, smell? Annie Chung's ramen noodle spicy chicken ramen. I figured Garrett would like that whenever he's, like, dying and he needs something. You, you approve? You agree about the brioche? Is that okay? She has to sniff everything. It's funny. As soon as we come in, it's tradition. We have to put it on the ground for it to sniff. But I went in there specifically just for milk, and I got sidetracked. So, got the uh, Organic Valley Grass-Fed 2% milk. And then, one good thing about Whole Foods is that they have, like, this little family pack section. This was only $5.97 for organic um, chicken thighs. So I'm going to make this for us for dinner, some of them, and freeze the rest. 
But yeah, that's all that I have, guys. I'm probably gonna like toast some of this up and put cheese or something on it. But this, I need to wrap up for my dad. And this one, me and Garrett's, I'm gonna like chill so he can have when he gets home. And I'm gonna hide the chips because Garrett's weakness is chips and we need them for our trip. That's why I got them. Anyways. Oh, and Hulu's been playing all day. I put it on the Chew and it's just been going all day. I don't even know what's playing right now, but anyways, I'm gonna put all this stuff up. So I'm about to slice the brioche bread, but dude, it's like a ginormous like dinner roll. It's so light and fluffy and yummy. And I'm so excited to cut into it. I'm actually gonna let you guys see it. I know it's a little close, but um, I'm just so excited to have a bread knife. You know? And you never put weight on it. You just kind of like let the nice natural weight do it. OMG, like, look at that. <laughs> Guys, like, uh -huh. it's so buttery and delicious. Oh, look, it's got a little air pocket. I hope that's an air pocket and not anything in there. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to cut some slices, like, pretty thin. I'm not going to go too heavy with it, but if I was doing French toast, I would do, like, twice the size, like, Texas toast size. But since I'm not, I'm just doing this to, um, so I can make, like, little toast or something with it. Oh my gosh, this bread is so delicious. I'm so excited. I think Garrett's going to be excited, too. So I'm just going to do, like, three slices, because I'm going to cut them in half. So, first out the way, I'm just going to cut them long way so you have like a little triangle and get a damp paper towel like this and I'm gonna arrange them all where they're like in one little bitty square and then just uh, get all as much water out as you can just lay it on top of it it's gonna keep it from drying and cracking so there you have that that's done now carrots are being cooked in here I have all the chicken actually in that pot. I just sauteed it with some thyme, salt, pepper, paprika, thyme, and that's it actually. And the peas are thawing, which have the water running on them. Because if you don't thaw your peas, they're gonna look like shriveled old balls, and you do not want that. So I'm gonna keep this. That's how you thaw things, by the way, like properly. You get a bowl of uh, cold water and just let it run on top of the product. And that's how I thaw all my meat. I keep it safe. You never, I mean, Garrett's mom likes to just sit, like, we'll go over to her house and she'll have ground beef um, from Walmart, like the cheapest kind. It's not organic. It's nothing like that. Just chilling in the sink for hours. Like, literally, she'll take it out in the morning to thaw and look at that. Look at that. Hello. I love you too, but, and then she'll have it ready to cook, or start cooking it at dinner time. It's like, Oh my god, you know the harboring bacteria that you just did? You're trying to kill us. But, um, anyway, so I'm making this Garrett should be home. Or he gets off in 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the bag so it stays nice and fresh. But I also loved how they put this little parchment paper on here. So it's like a big muffin. I don't know. It excites me. Alright, peas are cooking. I did, started off just uh, with butter, olive oil, salt, pepper. But then, um, after all the oil had absorbed and they've been cooking for a little while, they still were too firm. So I poured some water in there with some paprika, so it made this like reddish liquid. I don't know, so I'm letting that cook. And I'm letting the liquid cook out. Um, that's why I have the lid off. So it's still cooking it, but cooking out the liquid. So once the liquid is gone, I'm going to top it off with some butter. Everything's better with butter. And yeah, so Garrett just called. He's coming home. I told him I made him dinner. He sounded really like down in the dumps. Like, I don't know, I'm gonna eat tonight. He's like, don't worry. I'm eating, uh, cooking for you. So, anyways, we'll see. Hi. What are you doing, lamb chop, sugar plum, chili, booty, pussy, 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 Was that not okay? I don't know. Look at you. You're ridiculous, Rocky. Ridiculous is so comfortable. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey, don't lick mama's hands. I'm
cooking, okay? You're gonna hurt yourself. Oh, God. Okay. Good. Okay, so I have my best that I do good. I have my beer over here already poured. My place setting, his. We have the butter and the brioche, the chicken, uh, peas there, and carrots there, which I'll show you whenever um, we're ready to eat. But the butter's kind of ish room temperature, so it'll go on the bread nicely. And Garrett's beer, I already opened it, but he can sometimes be very particular about the glass he uses. So I have two in here uh, for him freezing. So I'll have that. So just waiting for him to get home so we can partake in dinner. I'm so hungry. And it's so hard not to devour all of that bread because it looks delicious. Oh, he's home. Garage is opening. Yay. Okay. I'll show you the food. Is it daddy? Is it Diddy? <gasps> What'd you get? What'd you get? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I bought you a beer, too. Excuse me. This one. I don't know if you've had it. It's the Big Eddie Russian Imperial Stout. And what glass do you want? Do you want this one? Sure. Or this one? Sure. Either one. Whichever one you want. That one's prettier. Yeah. Doesn't that look so beautiful and frosted? Now let's see if I can do a good head. Let's see. Alright. Oh my gosh, that's so thick. So that's what I wanted because when I looked through the thing, it didn't look like it was. But yeah. So let's eat. We have brioche, we have chicken, we have carrots, we have peas. Let me get you another one if you want one. Oh, Chloe. Oh my god. Almost killed her. Anywho, you ready to eat? Pretty darn tasty if I do so so myself. You look cute. Oh well. You look so cute in your PJs. She's so happy. She she's so warm and everything. Oh no.